Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for all your support. Everything you do, every time you hit that like button, you subscribe, you drop comments, the YouTube algorithm likes all that stuff and will show the readings to more people when you do that. They'll recommend it for people who are actually searching for readings, so thanks for that. And if you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Um, you can also, too, I mean, Fridays are always a general reading. You could check other parts of your chart. Now, Mondays are a different style every week. So one week I do a more detailed Celtic cross style reading. I do love readings, different oracle card readings, pick a card readings, all different things. So keep in mind, tarot is sacred divination. So readings are timeless. Spirit uses time frames. We'll get that sometimes, but like specific dates, that's more like astrology. In the tarot, tarot doesn't use a human calendar. So if a reading speaks to you, I'd say watch it. And if you like the channel, you like tarot, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Libra need to know, please? For the best and highest good of all concerned with Libra. All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot, and then we'll have the Angel Answers Oracle cards as well. Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Three of Cups, the Emperor, the Sun. Haven't seen the Sun in ages, the Devil. <laughs> That's kind of funny. The Devil, the Sun, the King of Pentacles. All right, well, you've got Leo, Aries, Capricorn here. Uh, you've got Taurus, Virgo, Cap. You've got Water, and you've got Air here. Well, pretty solid reading here, I'd say for sure, Libra. In terms of a relationship, there may be some kind of holdup with this Eight of Swords devil energy. If you've got some kind of a, maybe it's some kind of a, I don't want to say disagreement that almost feels too strong. If you're in a relationship, I definitely see love here in moving forward. But if there's something that feels like it's a, a barrier, if there's, you know, if it's a distance thing or something else, but we'll talk about this as we go. I mean, we love to see the Two of Cups, the Sun, and the Emperor together. There's definitely a lot of very positive indications here in relationships, but also money, all areas of your life with this kind of energy together. Um, so with the Two of Cups, you've got a great partnership, a, a real match here, a soulmate energy. So if you've been broken up with somebody, I do see a reunion. You have cards for that here. Um, and it may have seemed like it's been a long time coming. It may even happen unexpectedly, like somebody comes back around that you were not anticipating here. But I do feel like your energy has always been joined and connected. Now, I would like to say in terms of work and money, because you've got nice aspects for that as well. If it seems like there's been a delay, you finally got something happening here. It's a match for you. And so the twos are all about, you know, flowing duplication. I, twos are also about travel. So I do feel like there's something about that for somebody that has a long distance situation or maybe you've been traveling or you're going to be traveling for a new job. But there's something about travel that keeps coming in. So the Knight of Pentacles slow and steady wins the race. I know it's not everyone's favorite energy. The good news is though, in this energy, you get it right the first time. So it's not some of that energy that moves forward with such momentum that you feel uncertain about it. And this is how we manifest stuff. We start feeling uncertain and lo and behold, we have to go back and fix things. And this, it's like, oh God, what's taking so long? And that almost the focus on the the um, the time that it's taking it seems to extend it, right? But with the Knight of Pentacles, the Pentacles are all about manifesting, they're about money, they're about health, but they're stability. So this one brings in long-term stability, both financially and in commitments. It, it runs the distance. You get it right the first time, like I said. So there's no redoing this. It really does move forward. The Eight of Swords is an interesting energy here because it does go along with that devil. They're almost like first cousins, the devil and the Eight of Swords. Um, the Eight of Swords, though, is a very restricted, but it is a self-imposed prison. I mean, really anything is. It all starts in the mind, and then we put those feelings with it, and that's like miracle growing, whatever we're thinking. 
So with the Eight of Swords here, Eights are about vibration. This is pretty low vibrational stuff. And so it's okay to be aware of it if you say, yeah, I've had something that just hasn't been moving forward and really refocusing your point of attraction, refocusing your energy, um, because this just keeps growing and being, you know, being one of those things that it, it just gets frustrating. The more we have this happen and we keep duplicating it, the more we don't like it. So with this, I do feel like anything's possible. All this is, is the mind, the mind working over time. And, you know, in some cases too, it's all about the, the mind heart coherence, the brain heart coherence. So a lot of us go through life where the brain or the mind takes the day shift and the heart takes the night and we don't get very far because we're, we're working in two different directions. So I mentioned before with the three of cups, some of you have reunion here. There's definitely celebration. So those of you that are asking about reconciliation, you do have it here. And I also feel like it's coming from a genuine place. Somebody may have grown up quite a bit if there was an immature relationship or somebody that was immature in the past. And I'm talking about some time. This is not, we've been broken up for three weeks and they're miraculously different. I feel like they may have had a turning point here. And I also feel like they've never stopped thinking about you, but there's an important piece to this with not repeating old patterns. Um, but either way, there's definitely nice aspects to celebrate here. And it could be a different job too. There's something that brings in harmony and celebration into your life. So whatever you've been waiting on, it comes through and it brings this kind of joy behind it. That true happiness, true joy that we see in the sun as well. So the emperor comes in and he does have the only card here that has a little bit of the pool of consciousness, but he tends to use logic more than the practices of meditation. Now, it's okay to have logic in life. I mean, we don't ever say we shouldn't use our logical minds at all. He uses his, though. Very, It's very analytical energy. So you may find, too, if you have a problem with the Eight of Swords, your analytical mind here can help override some of those more um futile types of thinking patterns okay because he gets the job done this is an energy of confidence success moving forward he's also the universe the architect of the universe but he's money he is no nobility so it's definitely an energy of feeling powerful empowered and feeling confident financially there's no lack here you've got wisdom and knowledge you've got a skill set in terms of work life um that's definitely valuable and so whatever your experiences are, even if you say, well, I don't, I didn't go to school or I didn't stay in college, you've somehow compensated for it with your experiences. Or if you did go to college, again, your experiences really are the dominant key here, more, more so even than education. So we love the sun. The sun is complete, unconditional joy, happiness, fulfillment. It is celebration at the highest, truest extent. Those wavy rays indicate very high vibrational energy, very different from the Eight of Swords. And so the sun shines on everything, even the devil. I mean, even the devil cannot escape the kind of energy that the sun brings in. It's liberation, it's gain, it's riches for you. That little androgynous child waves that banner of victory and success. And you also look at the scale of this, right? This, this tiny little child that commands this horse. You have power in a situation. You're going to feel it. You're going to know it. And you're going to be in a place where you command a presence here with the emperor and the sun. But it doesn't hurt anybody. It's not about taking control of somebody else's will. Now, the sunflowers here, in terms of a relationship with that two of cups, these sunflowers always point towards the sun. But when the sun goes down, they point towards each other. And so it signifies having an energetic connection with somebody. You're always connected with this person. Even if it's a new love, I know we've talked a bit about reconciliation or somebody from the past, but with a new love too, you have um, something that's very in sync. This is synergy. It's attracting people who are a match for you. It's also to some extent though, being repelled by others who aren't. So this is not an energy where you're gonna pick up a fixer upper you know, um, date and think, well, I'll change them into who I want. You'll go out with somebody one time and know right away if they are not a match and you won't, there will be no second date with that kind of energy. But I still feel like anyway, you're attracting somebody that will be a match. So with the devil being here, it's all that limited, restricted energy 
Um, it, for some of you, though, it really is more about changing old patterns, changing old belief systems, letting go of what has not worked because you have that wisdom and knowledge with the emperor. The emperor would not make the same mistake twice. And so with this, it's um, the devil is about bondage, right? It's about being chained to past experiences, things that don't serve you. And I just don't see you doing that again. Um, but again, some of you, it's it's somebody else who's got, um, has not stopped thinking about you and really would like a second chance. But and I wouldn't say not to because the cards overall here are positive, but it may indicate that too, that there's a bit of an obsessive energy or it could be you too if you've, you've been thinking about somebody because this idea keeps coming back around. So with the King of Pentacles, very stable energy in all areas of your life, prosperity, abundance abounds, and two in work situations, it can be to a, um, a boss or a mentor who gives you very good direction. They help you. They're helping you to elevate your career. It could be you as well, though. I mean, in terms of if you are in a supervisory position, here you go. It's if you got a promotion or a new job, because whatever it was that you've been waiting for, it's finally here. And this is the, this is goals. It's the Midas of the tarot. So it seems like you just keep attracting more and more and more in this energy. It's a very positive indicator, not only for money, but also stability in your life. And we have, didn't talk a lot about health here, but those pentacles too are about the physical body. So with the king and the knight, it's long-term stability in any areas that, that, that the pentacles represent. So money, manifesting positive things, and even health. So let's see here what the angels have to say for Libra. Okay, we've got here peaceful resolution. So whatever the eight of swords is, you're going to be walking free, freedom from bondage in both accounts there helpful people. So definitely you have good people coming along and we've got ask for help from others. So my gosh, if you need help, pipe up because they're telling you that that's going to be important for you. Take action, they say. And you've got a yes. So good things are on the way for you, Libra. I love you and I'll be back again soon.